And Rachel, looks like it's going to be a big weekend for sports. You're right. It's busy. There's plenty of action for winter sports and spring sports. But the men's basketball squad has one more showdown left this season for the convo. But for some area high school teams, their chance to play on the convo floor is just beginning. Next on Newswatch. The road to the convo is oftentimes a long one, but for many area teams, a sectional title and a chance to play on the floor of Ohio University's Convocation Center is just a game away. Four Tri-Valley Conference teams will hit the hardwood tonight for the first game of their postseason play. Number one seeded Nelsonville York will hit the court against River Valley at Athens High School in just a few minutes. Following that game, number five seed Federal Hawking will battle number four seeded Chillicothe Southeastern. Just up, the, just up Route 33 at Logan High School at 6 p.m., Athens is looking to upset number two seeded Logan Elm. And after that game, three seed Benton County hopes to knock out a six seeded Fairfield Union. As some local teams look to step onto the convo for the first time this season, one team will be stepping onto the convo floor for the last time this season. The Bobcat squad will step onto the hardwood looking a little green, though. Green, as in green fever, that is. The cure? A win against number one Akron in the national spotlight, of course. Akron took the first game in Akron against Ohio 68 to 63. In their last meeting, four Ohio players scored in double figures, but four Bobcats also followed out in the loss. The Zips enter Sunday's battle ranked in the top 100 for points per game, rebounds per game, assists per game, and field goal percentage. Akron holds a three-game lead over second place Ohio in the MAC. Tip-off is Sunday night and will be aired on ESPNU. Also playing on television this weekend is the Ohio women's basketball team, which returns to action for the first time since their big win versus Bowling Green this Saturday when they hit the road in Buffalo. It will be the second matchup between the two squads this year as Ohio opened, up conference, opened their conference season with a 73-64 victory over the Bulls. The Bobcats look to continue their hot play heading towards the MAC dance in Cleveland, but it won't be, an easy, road, won't be easy going on the road. It's on the road. Tough place to play, let me just say that. Uh, it's an early noon game, so it, things are just going to be quick for us, and it's a long bus ride up to Buffalo, so we just got to get ready. There's no excuses this time around. The team hot as of late has been the Ohio Swimming and Diving Squad. The Cats shattered two records, and after day one of the MAC championships, the ladies are about 70 points ahead of second place Buffalo, despite not winning any events on day one. The Bobcats 200 free relay squad put forth a great time of 1 minute 30 seconds .78, which qualifies the squad for the NCAA cut and puts them among the fastest times ever recorded at Ohio. Individually, Lauren Williams set a new school record in the 500 degree, shattering the old record by 3 seconds. In the 200 IM, Rachel Stearns and Emily Michaels all qualified for the cut as well. The 400 medley relay rounded out the five events in which Ohio qualified for the NCAA cut. In diving, Mary Rose Hillstrom set a program record on the one-meter diving board for the, for 309 with the points of 300.9. Also looking to take the conference crown in Akron is Ohio's track and field team. MAC action featured mainly prelims today. So far, no Bobcats have moved on to tomorrow in the 600 meter in the 60 meter hurdles, 400 meter dash. 800 meter run and the 200 meter dash. The 5,000 meter run is currently underway now and the distance medley is scheduled for just after six. The Ohio baseball team returned to the diamond today for a three game series against Middle Tennessee. The Cats have only faced off against the Blue Raiders three times in school history and they've never came away with a win. The first game is currently underway with Middle Tennessee currently leading Ohio four to zero in the bottom of the seventh inning. Ohio softball also hit the road tonight for the third consecutive weekend for the University of Virginia Invitational. The Bobcats are scheduled for a doubleheader today against UVA, but a rain delay has pushed the second game back, which is currently underway. It's tied at two in, in the bottom of the fourth inning. The, the ladies dropped the first game to the Cavaliers 9-2. to two. Freshman Lauren McCleary got the loss for Ohio. As you can tell, guys, spring, winter sports all going on. It's a busy weekend. I know. It's gone by so, qu so quickly. Thanks, Rachel.